Hi Leo, this is going to be a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs if you want. And also keep in mind that the rules can be reversed and because it's general, the rules can also sometimes overlap. All right, and let's see what is going on with Leo. What is the overall energy for April? All right, we have reinvention and we have separation. Okay, that's, that's interesting. <clears throat> All right, so it does feel like there is some kind of a separation. So maybe you are already in separation or this might be just something that is lurking. Um, maybe somebody is thinking about a separation. We'll see because we also have the reinvention card. So I feel like there's also something new or new feelings associated with a separation. So let's get into it and see what this is about. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of April. All right, so for this situation, we have the Queen of Swords crossed by the Seven of Swords. All right. Okay, so this could be someone else that you are dealing with. This is just how it's coming off, but it could definitely be you. I feel like somebody is not being very honest about about something here. I feel like there is um, possibly some, some kind of coldness or some kind of distance. Um, it could be that somebody is, is avoiding the situation. We'll see. Recent past, we have the Emperor. Near future, we have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, we'll see these when we clarify. Let's see for your energy. We have the Ace of Cups. For them, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And then a deeper look at what is going on with you is the High Priestess. For them, Justice. And a potential outcome here is the Seven of Cups. All right, okay, so for you, with the Ace of Cups and the High Priestess, you're definitely feeling a lot of love for this person. This could even be a sense of self-love for yourself, and this might be part of the reinvention if that is you. Um, almost like... The way that this is coming through to me just right off the bat is that if there is a separation, it's almost like a new way of feeling about the separation or a new way of handling the separation rather than being in a state of um, grief and sorrow and depression. I feel like you are kind of perceiving this situation more from a place of love and from a place of following your intuition and just knowing that, you know, this is a situation like like acceptance and that it's okay and and still being able to embody self-love or even love for this person if you do feel um love for this person for them the eight of pentacles and justice there is something here that they are working on i feel like they're working on trying to get on the right path they're trying to bring something into balance they're working on um just trying to correct something maybe but definitely putting in some effort. I do, I do, however, still see a little bit of waiting in the in the um, near future here with the Seven of Pentacles. However, it's not um, an unproductive type of a waiting. It's more like things being put into place. And then for the potential outcome with the Seven of Cups, 
We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Again, um, keep in mind that this is not the forever outcome, okay? Nobody can tell you a forever outcome for something, all right? Things can shift. There's um, free will. There's choices that people make. And of course, this is a general reading, all right? But I see this as possibly there being options and all options just being up in the air almost. Um, I'm not really seeing it as confusion, to be honest with you. I'm seeing it more of, okay, you know, we have these alternatives. Let's see which one we're going to choose and trying to decide on one. Okay, so let's actually start clarifying and see what's going on here. All right, so let's see the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Swords. All right, we have the Knight of Wands, the Sun, and the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> All right, so it could be that somebody is a little bit, uh, feeling a little bit inconsistent right now, a little bit um, showing, I I'm even getting like mixed signals, and a little bit of not knowing how to go about obtaining this happiness. And there is something here, I mean, this is your sign right here, all right, Le uh, with the sun, it's Leo. So I, I don't necessarily feel like this is you, although it could be. I see, I see it more as somebody moving towards you, wanting to move towards you, but then also holding back, almost like, I feel like they're kind of iffy about, okay, how much should I give to, to this? How much should I give? How much should I not give? How much should I express? How transparent should I be? And how much should I hold back? So I feel like there's a little bit of an inconsistency when it comes to what they are giving you, whether that is in terms of information, um, emotional expression, or even on the material world. Um, it's really going to depend for each of you. Either way, I feel like whoever this is, okay, because it, it, again, it could be you, the Leo doing this, take it as it resonates. Um, somebody is avoiding coming forward full, full force in honesty. Somebody I feel is holding back a little bit and keeping their distance. So <clears throat> maybe we can see why. Um, yeah, let's see the emperor for the recent past. And I feel like this is you. All right, Seven of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you know, I feel like some. what has happened here is that somebody decided to, you know, regardless of how painful this might have been, whatever it is that's going on, regardless of you know, how unsettling the situation might be. I feel like somebody held back from communicating. So it could be you, it could be your person. Um, one of the reasons might be because if this is you, you, you felt like communicating with this person, it might actually um, lead to them ignoring you. And so I feel like you may have blocked that, or this could be them. However, because it, it's, it's coming to, with the Emperor energy, I see whoever this is as being, possibly being a little bit stubborn and really said on, no, no, I'm not going to communicate. So there was somebody here who really wanted to communicate. You will know if this was you or not. If it wasn't you, then it was your person. Um, and just kind of blocked that from happening. And if you are already in communication, then this could be um, a specific conversation or them telling you specific, specific things that they held back from when it comes to whatever it is that is being avoided in the situation. So let's see, let's see your energies individually. Let's start with the Ace of Cups for you. Alright, we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Queen of Swords showing up again. 
Yeah, so you're definitely, I feel like not only are you accepting of the situation for, for what it is, this is you also really still holding on to that love for this um, person, as I said, like knowing that that love is there, knowing that that bond is there. I feel like you love this person unconditionally, even if that means you um, keeping your distance as well, in a way. I feel like you might be, you might not be giving them time, maybe. Um, for themselves or or you're just in this energy of um, you know what if this person is reluctant to communicate with me about whatever or if they're avoiding this situation you know um, I I deserve more than that so I am also going to really stick to my ground too and not just you know be there like a doormat just for whenever okay so Either way, I see it as an acceptance of the situation while still holding on to unconditional love for this person. But it's kind of like you still want to hold your ground um, for certain things. Like you don't want to be taken advantage of for something. Let me see the High Priestess. All right, we have strength and we have the two of swords. Okay, yeah. So you might be doubting your intuition a little bit. I feel like, yeah, for the most part, as I said, you're doing a good job of, of handling the situation as it is. Um, you're trying to understand it. You're trying to be understanding. You're trying to just, you know, stay strong through this because there either is a separation or you feel a separation lurking. But, you know, there are bound to be times where you where you can doubt your intuition and not know what is going to happen and not really be happy with the situation just because you're accepting it it doesn't mean that you necessarily are happy about what is what it is that is going on um i'm seeing this as a message for you to just you know stay strong this is you i mean again showing up in your own reading um with strength and so I do feel like you are more intuitive than you know. So whatever it is that you're feeling intuitively, you know, stick to that, but also make sure to also hold on to your integrity at the same time. And there, you know, the solution will present itself eventually. All right, so let's see the Eight of Pentacles for your person. All right, the Page of Wands and Judgment. Yeah, so they're undergoing a transformation. There is something big here that is happening for them. Um, and they're definitely working towards that. I feel like they might be at the beginning stages here with the Page of Wands. However, they are, they do have a motivation and they do have a drive for whatever it is that they're working towards. Now, whatever that is, it comes with the energy of judgment, which is all about truth. And it's all about um, a deeper understanding Okay, um, a lot of people also see this as a reconciliation card, so that could totally be what they're moving towards or working towards. Um, but I'm seeing this more of making a really big decision and possibly having a major transformation based on, on truths that they are becoming more and more aware of. Let me see justice for, for your person as well. All right, the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's action here. There's action. I mean, the action might feel sometimes a little bit um, flighty. Um, it might sometimes come with some anxiety. It might come with a little bit of... Uh, give me one sec. I'm sorry. My cat is trying to destroy things. So just need to get it away from him. All right. Yeah, so this energy might be a little bit impulsive at times, which sometimes when our when our actions are a little bit too impulsive, they might be a little premature or just not well thought out. But that's okay. That's okay because that's just, you know, a part of it. But overall, they are working towards fixing something and bringing balance um, for their own self. And I love the fact that we have the Nine of Pentacles because this does talk about somebody who is very, very stable and um, just really owns themselves, right? Has all of their, has their shit together, basically. And this is also an energy of being independent. So I do see this person 
working on that independence in the good way. It doesn't mean independent, um, you know, as in being single necessarily. It's just that they're really working on themselves, on their own self-worth. And whatever it is that they're doing, I mean, having justice, that's, that's ma again, making decisions, making the right decisions for their own self. And I feel like they're actually doing it pretty quickly. Maybe a little too quickly, but um, yeah, let's see. So let's see the Seven of Pentacles in the near future coming up. All right, the Five of Swords and the Six of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is that it could be... Here's the thing, sometimes when we move too quickly or if we make really impulsive um, decisions, it can set us back just a little bit, but that doesn't mean that, that we failed, all right? It doesn't mean that we're not going to have results. It, it can just be a minor setback, and it's interesting that I was getting that vibe from that card, and then now we have the Five of Swords. So it could be that, you know, there's a little bit of a... Um, I almost want to say like a sabotage um, in this movement, just it's, but I feel like it's going to be minor. I feel like it's just a little minor um, thing because in the overall picture, what we have is the Seven of Pentacles. So it's all about putting things in order. It's all about trying to put things into place, but I feel like there might be a little bit of waiting before before um, there's this um, victory. And I do feel like this is about your person, not you. You might, it might even be the case that you become aware of this and you might just not really trust it. You might not really believe that this is what is really going on. Um, but yeah, this person, from what I'm seeing here, is working on things in the right way. Let me see the Seven of Cups. Alright, we have the Nine of Swords the Chariot, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this is all about, uh, again, I feel like it's Spirit saying, you know, be mindful of really quick movement or of impulsive movement. Um, because then things might not be complete and there might still be a little bit of conflict, even possibly conflict from the outside, from other people in some way. And so that might bring a little bit of just some anxiety. But again, I, I really feel like the, that Seven of Cups is all about seeing the alternative, seeing different options um, when it comes to this connection and what can be done about it. So this could even be for you. Um, you know, don't rush. You don't need to rush anything. You don't need to rush trying to get over this person, for example. You don't need to rush trying to get back with this person. You know, just kind of let it flow. I feel like rushing in any way is going to lead to, to anxiety. So it could even be that this person come back, comes back in very impulsively, very quickly. Um, and you might be, as I said, a little distrustful about that. If that happens, yeah, you know, just I'm, the message I'm getting very, very strongly is to just, you know, um, don't be in a rush. That's all. Don't be in a rush to make to make a decision. You know, um, think of all the alternatives and just different ways that you can go about this that will feel more stable for you. And you know, you are at a time where you are very intuitive at the moment, so use that to your advantage to see how you can handle the situation. All right, Leo. So if this was resonating, let's get your final oracle message all right and we have we got two we have ascending the mountain keep going forward and we also have answering the call the time is now yeah so you know things i feel like things are shifting all right if you've been feeling the call to move in a certain direction do that all right whatever the case this could even be for your person all right um, it's time to to open that door and answer that call that they've been um, that they've been hearing as well. All right. Either way, this one is I, I'm getting. This is definitely for you. Keep going forward. Just keep moving in the way that you have been. All right. Because this was very very beautiful energy that you are in. 
All right, Leo, thank you so much for watching. Much love.